guys, it's Queen EJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to Ring 2 episode 12 of Sounds of Life. So, um, last week, you know how I just recorded episode 11 and I said I was going to do 12 and 13 together. Well, on Friday, I got a message saying that I should be doing 13 and 14 together. And now I kind of just wish I could go back in time and just tell myself, like, hey, maybe it's better if you just watch 11 and 12 together because then you go to watch 13 and 14 this week. But it's okay, we'll do it next week. But. Other than that, let's go ahead and get started with episode 12 in 3, 2, 1, go. Here we go. Oh, I'm so tired. And really, honestly, I should not be tired. I've literally taken two naps today. I woke up, my dad came over, and then I went to sleep. Not once, but twice. And I woke up at 4 o'clock, and I was like, shit, I haven't done any recording. And thank God, like, my first show doesn't, well, my first show officially started last week, and I got those six episodes done. But my second show starts tomorrow. So I was like, well, let me go ahead and do all my Patreon shows today and have them be all edited and uploaded so that tomorrow I can focus on the new spring shows, plus the show that I got to watch from a couple of days ago that I didn't really have time to watch because I was originally going to watch it today. But I was like, if I had a, if I had stayed awake when my father left instead of falling back to sleep, um, I think I would have been able to get everything done all within like two hours, but I was still tired. I had been up since seven o'clock in the morning. Um, so I, like, I laid back in my bed. I covered myself. I turned my light off. I was like, I'm going back to sleep. So I, I, I slept for a while <laughs> and it was a good sleep. So I don't really think I'm going to go to sleep bed tonight until, like, I go to bed late anyway, so, uh, 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, probably, but I need to change my schedule, because, like, uh. Okay. Yeah, how the fuck can you complete with something like that? I mean, honestly, you there, there is no match. You cannot compete against that school. I'm sorry. I'm hungry. I'll leave after this. Jesus, I was here. You're sweating. But you can't deny that sexual chemistry between these two. I mean, come on now. It's there. It is so obvious, but it's just... I don't know. Maybe somebody doesn't just want to reciprocate those feelings. <laughs> right. <laughs> I mean, I would literally be like, can we forfeit, please? Like, there's no way in hell. Honestly, I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Jesus, Chica, what the fuck? <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> oh, 
What was that freaking hit? Oh my god. You know, because honestly, I thought that their teacher would have come and to like maybe give them a pep talk, like, hey, bring their spirits up. Because, yes, usually when you see a school like that come, I mean, like, seriously, how the hell do you compete with that other school or any school for that matter? Are you okay? Oh, you're from the school. Okay. He kind of reminds me of Kimiko's girlfriend. Mm hmm. Look down, shorty. That's it. The, uh, short down. Oh my god, you're so cute, though. <laughs> hey. Chica always gets into trouble, like, oh my god. It, but then even sometimes he doesn't even run into it, it just happens. Well, yeah. Uh-uh. <laughs> Figures. Yeah, I think Sin and Kudo are going to be the best of friends by the time this series ends. <laughs> are, you, are you okay? You are sick? <laughs> Good. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she 
Excuse me. You would automatically kind of think that Haru being the taller guy would be the more dominant one, but no. Sen is the one who wins the pants in the relationship. It's so cute. <laughs> it's just them? Are you serious? Because they practice a lot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <with> the fuck? <laughs> yeah, that's definitely an Alpha and Omega. Or that's a <laughs> a sub, and they're dominant. <laughs> uh, subs and dummy. <laughs> Beautiful. Really? Don't be nervous. You guys are going to do fine. Because Kudo and them are specifically going last, right? So I'm guessing they'll be in episode 13 and 14. Personality. So cute, though. Yeah, but that doesn't even mean they're ready to go ahead and like sleep somewhere and then be late. <laughs> oh, my. 
my god. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's pretty. Is it mm -hmm. yeah. He's still pretty though. So basically everybody has to replace except him. He's basically the black sheep of the family. I mean, because look at him. His mom has blonde hair. His dad has blonde hair. He's the only one who doesn't have blonde hair. And you want something new? I mean, that's a that's a fucking talent. But there's a but. But like a prisoner. I stopped. Because people took advantage of him. Even his sister has blonde hair. More of a dirty blonde. But here's the question, does he still officially talk to his family right now or because the fact is he's kind of distant himself from his family, does he not? I mean, from the way he looked at the magazine, it seems more like a no.
I used to feel that way too. Especially with chorus and stuff, and you just feel like, oh my god, I can't do it. There was always one. Get on, you'll be fine. No, it's your grandfather's. You should have the right to play it. Yeah, but I, I think still, you know, I, I still kind of underestimate dude, because I don't know. I just sometimes, there are times where I just don't really think he's as serious or professional like he wants to be around these. No! No, no, it's okay. It was an accident. You didn't mean to do it. You know you can't play with that arm. I mean, look at the hand. Look at his hand. Look at his fucking hand. He can't play. Oh my god. Like the fact that next week I'm watching the last episode going on to season two. Bitch, you fucking, like, are you fucking kidding me? I I had a weird feeling going from last week's episode to this week's episode. Something bad was going to happen. And right there, right there. I, I know, like, Kittle is stressed. She's scared because of the fact that, yes, looking at all these other schools go before them. You have every every right to be scared because... I felt that way when I was in chorus. I, and not really more of elementary school or even middle school. It was more of high school because we never really in elementary school or even middle school went into... No, I'm lying. Elementary school and middle school, but I was more scared in high school. Um, middle school, I wasn't because in middle school, I had show choir. And it was easy to do it because it was just like one and done. You maybe got to see other show choirs but that was it high school was different because it was a different amount of kids different schools and it was you know me returning back here to florida and thinking that oh my god like this is not going to be anything that i want it to be and it, it's a little nerve-wracking but then especially when you have to do um an extra thing in chorus which you're doing these like number reading notes and stuff and you're, you have to use it by one two three four and sing it and be on b and make sure you're on the right tune and everything yeah it gets a little pressurized and you're not only trying to make sure you sound right by yourself but when you have two other people who are blind sounding like completely off you're sitting here like oh my god like what the fuck should i do and so sometimes i would end up mouthing just in case but i think it's gonna be okay i think Chica, it's not, I hope and pray it's not that bad. I pray to God, but since next week is the last episode of season one, plus it's the first episode of season two, and they're probably going to be performing next week, I am really, really scared for these characters. And I'm worried that because Chica is now officially hurt, he's not going to be able to play. 
because you can only play with a certain amount of hands, especially with one hand like this and one hand like this. Like it has to be a certain way. And I think if you hurt a hand or injure yourself trying to play, um, but before you do your performance, then you're out. You can't really do anything. And sometimes because that one person is out, the whole group and the dynamic is fucked up because of it. So I feel like next week going into the last episode, they're not going to do as great if Chica isn't there. Even though Hoseki is the one who, like, it is the glue of the group who brings everybody together, who holds them, like, in their lane to say, this is what she needs to do. You need to do it on this beat. But because of the fact is that Chica is not going to be there. And maybe some people are, like, waiting for Chica to do a certain part in the performance. They're going to fuck up for that. And so, I don't know. It could be their downfall. And going into season two, it just could be something that they're going to really... um have a hard time getting settling settling with that issue especially i feel like hito is going to be like heartbroken the most maybe even also hoseki and chica and possibly the group as a whole but hito mainly is my main person who's going to be affected she already is affected by this now and you can see it's just eating away at her everybody else is like yeah i got a tummy ache i'm fine but with her i mean she's shaking like a leaf she's so fucking scared and she doesn't really know how to truly feel, but honestly, I'm not really going to know until next week. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 12 of Sounds of Life. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad. And of course, I will see you guys officially on next Friday for Patreon. And next Tuesday for everybody else for the actual, and I mean it this time, actual finale. The end of season one and the start of season two are really just episode 13 and 14. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.